Welcome back to Whiskey Wonder Woman. In today's video, we are doing the Shin Malt Whiskey. This one is 15 years old. I got this from Total Wine. Um, I don't know if it's like they have to like sell it to us, but I was still sold anyways because um, I like the way it tastes. I think I posted it in my whiskey hunting video in New York. I think it was like, it's like $110, 15 years old. Um, I thought it was pretty good. And it's like Mizunora Oak, which um, I think I did a video on Mizunora Oak in one of my other bottles. Um, hopefully this box has some information on it. There's some tasting notes on it, so I'm covering that up. The Shin Malt Whiskey, 15 years old, 96 proof. Shin Malt Whiskey is crafted by master distiller Mr. Ken Usami, who selected the best malt whiskeys and finished them in casks made of Japan's prize Mizunora Oak. Um, they're really expensive. They're like over 200 years old. Really hard to get too. Famous for imparting rich honeyed flavors. Okay, that's just talking about the oak. Okay. Famous for imparting rich honeyed flavors of apples, pears, cloves, and nutmeg, Mizunora Oak has been used in Japan since the 1930s and is now sought after by whiskey makers around the world. It's so true. Um, there's, um, man, I think it's called the barrel. Who makes the dovetail barrel, um, whiskey bottle? I think it's called the bourbon barrel. I don't know. Anyways, they have a Mizanor finish bourbon. Um, and I haven't tasted it yet, but the price for that bourbon is more expensive than some of their other bottles because it's using Mizanor oak. Shin stands for integrity, which is one of the core principles of samurai tradition. Shin malt whiskey is created in the Japanese seaside region of Niigata on the country's western coast. The area is famous for the three white treasures, snow, rice, and sake, which has been cultivated there for centuries. All Shin whiskeys are created without chill filtration or added color to protect and enhance their deeply complex, robust flavor. It's a silver winner, 93 points from the 2020 Asia International Spirits Competition. <clears throat> and then it was a silver winner in the 2020 Asia International Spirits Competition. Wow, so they won two awards that year. Pretty good. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. Look at the color, 15 years old. That looks pretty good for Japanese whiskey, right? I'm just gonna spin it around a little, let it air out. Look at that color. It is really, really pretty. It's like really brown. It's like a caramelized honey color. All right, 15 years old, guys. All right, let's go for the aroma. I think I smell the Mizanora. I smell like like a lot of fruitiness. I think the initial note I get is honey and apples. It reminds me of like crisp green apples. It's very, very refreshing, but it's now like kind of toned down with oak. And I get pears. Unbelievable. That smells very crisp and refreshing. And it's like 15 years old. You would think that it's like much more caramelized, but I actually take that back. There are notes of caramelization in some ways. Um, I think I got notes of, I want to say raisins, um, like white raisins. <laughs> they also said that Mizanora has like clove and nutmeg. I think I smell the nutmeg in some ways and the clove I think I'm struggling to find but I will say there is a little bit of spice that might be the clove so I think the notes are pretty spot on with like it being Mizanora but then there's like a sweetness happening um 
it's definitely like raisins. I, I want to say a thousand percent it's raisins. Everything in here, in the aroma, it's like jam-packed, condensed. Um, very aromatic for a Japanese whiskey. Oh, I think I'm getting uh, cherries. It smells like it's like cherries covered in like maybe chocolate. Like it reminds me of a, a Cadbury um, chocolate bar with the raisins and the fruit. There's just a lot of fruitiness happening and I think there's spices. It's just, there's a lot of flavor going on just in the aroma. Um, so I'm just really excited to try this. Cheers. Oh, my nose. There's still like fragrance living in my nose. Very cologne-like. That's weird. Okay. I definitely taste the barley. It's a lot of spice. There is smokiness. I was not expecting to have smokiness in here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did not like the smokiness. It kind of killed the palate for me at the end. Cause now there's a lot of like peatiness towards the end. A little bitter smokiness that I'm just not feeling. And it's just sitting there. It's still sitting there. It's very oaky. It's just a very smoky oak. But it's very smooth. It's so smooth for 96 proof. I will say that the whiskey tastes very aged. Um, tons of flavor. Okay, second time, ooh, spiciness, spiciness. Still a bit of that light fruitiness, so I did get the honey. I wanna say it's like pears. Um, it's like a light fruit, maybe the apples. I'm not sure I really got the raisins in that flavor. It was more like spicy apples, like an apple pie, honestly. Um, and I didn't get that much of the smokiness this time. It was more spice than anything. It's a lot of spices. There are a lot of spices in this whiskey. And I think it's a good thing because there's a lot of oakiness um, happening and the barley, it, it's there. Um, I wish it wasn't, but the barley definitely shows. Um, but the spiciness kind of mellows it out, which is great. And behind the grain of barley, you do have some of the, the fruitiness. Um, so let me check the tasting notes now, see if I was right at all, and if there's smokiness. Okay, nose, significant wood aroma. I definitely said it was like more fruity than anything. Mizanora oak, I did say that. Dark, ripe fruit like blueberry and cinnamon. Did I say blueberry? I don't think so. I think I said I raisins and I basically mentioned everything like light fruits. I don't smell blueberry at all. No way. Palette, sweet, multi note with significant woody flavor like sandalwood that brings out different levels of spices. Now I could, I could definitely say I think I got the sandalwood in the aroma and that was that lingering aroma that was kind of left in my nose before taking that sip that I said like kind of reminded me of cologne. That was the sandalwood. Um, different levels of spices. Yes, there's a lot of spices. That's really it for the tasting notes. They should have put more tasting notes. I'm gonna look up to see if there are any other. Complex Mizanor oak aging, tannic and spicy, rum raisins, I said raisins, I said it, raisins, dried fruit, dark chocolate, I said chocolate, I definitely said that, long dry finish. I didn't say dry finish, I did say there was a smokiness. Um, yeah, I don't know where I got that smokiness from. Uh, rich clove, vanilla, orange, 
the finish is long. In some ways, yeah, the spiciness, yeah. I know a lot of people aren't into Japanese whiskey, but I want to try whiskey from all over the world. And I know that Mizunor Oak is the most expensive wood to use when aging um, whiskey. Well, I have a lot of respect when I see uh, bottles that are using Mizunor Oak because they're hard to find and they're really expensive. I think there's like a like a huge competition to get them um, or like, I don't know if there's like bedding. I really don't know what's involved, but I just know that it's not easy to acquire. So when I do see that uh, there are whiskeys that have Mizunor Oak, I know that it's going to be good. I actually would like to go to Japan. Are there distillery tours in Japan? I don't know, that would be cool to find out. Overall, um, I think this is delicious. I, I like Japanese whiskey. Um, it's hard to find like really good ones because there are like a lot of them. Um, but I would say that this is one of the good ones for sure. Um, even though it was kind of like sold to me, um, I still like it because I know that it's Mizunor Oak. Um, there's a lot of other ones like there was like a whole shelf of them and I mean I didn't know which one to pick. I don't think I wasted any money. Um, it's delicious. It has a bunch of flavors. It's very aromatic. Um, the finish is great. Um, I'm not disappointed at all. It's like packed with flavor. It's full of age. Um, I definitely think I got my money's worth. If you want to try it, don't be scared to like step out of your comfort zone. Like, yes, whiskey is expensive, but sometimes you find, like, something outside of your normal that you're like, wow, this is really good. And that's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find whiskeys from all over the world. And, like, I just did uh, Indian whiskey. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. So that's exactly the experience that I want when I try new whiskeys. Um, and that's the point of my whole channel. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Good night.